everybody, Agna here. Uh, today we're going to discuss the new helper insects that you can get. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so like I said in the little intro, we're going to be uh, talking about the little insect buddies that they got going on, the new release. Um, what what exactly it means, how, how to best improve uh, your hatch rate, etc, etc. Uh, before we get into that, usual shenanigans, this video is sponsored by Aptoid. We're using my code AGNA6. You can get anywhere from 5 to 65% off all in-game purchases with the new event that's out right now with a very great insect if you haven't seen that video please go take a look it's a great way to be able to save you some money so that you're not having to spend quite as much to be able to get the new insect or a future one in that matter because your credit does build up and you can always get one for free like me i got this one for free so take a look at that a full description of how to do so will be down in the description down below uh, as well as in the description, there's going to be a link to the Discord page and various other links to allow you to be able to come on. And if you don't want to watch my videos for whatever reason, and you just want the code or, or whatever, it's a great tool. We all are there. We help out. We have voice calls every other day and weekends. It's just a great little community to be able to go ahead and get yourself immersed in. So that will be down in the description down below. Speaking of helping people out, there are still 66% of you that watch my videos on a weekly basis and are not subscribed and are not are not commenting, they're not liking. It really would just help me out, so it lets me know what kind of content I need to keep making, if you like the content, if you don't like the content, whatever. And it's just a great way to be able to support me as well, for free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Alright, so we'll get into it. So right now, currently, there's only three types of helper buddy insects. And if you click on this, this will tell you about what your chance of hatching is. So your chance of hatching, you got a 5% on each one. Now, they'll hatch alongside with insects at the same hatch rate. The first 20 insect hatches each week, each week guarantees buddy fragments. Subsequent hatches are a chance to be to grant buddy fragments. Only in the buddy, uh, only the buddy fragments collected from hatches started this week will be counted as buddy fragments from hatch this week. So no matter what, as long as you hatch twenty insects, you're guaranteed to get some buddy fragments. And with the buddy fragments, if we go over to, um, well, let me just. I have my my stuff out gathering right now. So you got you got three different types. So you got the um, which one is this? The do do do. I think it's like tortoise something. And then you have this butterfly and then this moth. So as far as like what's the best for each of them, um, I personally went with the tortoise one first uh, because. In each round, our insect has 80% chance to do 135 exclusive damage to two random enemy squads. That's every single round. And then, so for this one, it's only in the two, second, fourth, and sixth round. And it has a 70% chance to do, do 220% exclusive damage. And then in this one, it's first, third, and fifth round. Our insect has a 70% chance to do 216. So if you look at these which obviously that'll go up to 220 when I have it at one star. If you look at these, um, so then you can start seeing a way that you can kind of um, start planning this kind of thing. So the tortoise and then this white one are, best shoot, are, are going to be best uh, suited for shooters because you know, you're trying to get in there, get as much damage as possible, et cetera, et cetera, because this one is round based you know, you, you have the opportunity um, to be able to get an extra damage hit, essentially. This one, in my opinion, is more suited towards like Guardians and Carriers. Because you with Guardians and Carriers, it's more the longevity of the fight to be able to go ahead and finally win the fight. So that's something to keep an eye on. 
Um, but personally, I went with this one just because it's an 80% chance every round to be able to do 135. So if you add that all up, I mean, if the other ones are doing 220, but they're only hitting in three rounds, so they're doing 660% total damage. Whereas this one at 135 times nine rounds, you can do the math. You're looking at over a thousand percent possible damage that you can do. Uh, and the other ones still have a chance. So anyway, I hope that, that this short video helped you out. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one.